it came to my conclusion that I never really did do a good rundown on this whole dually build ever since I pushed it in the shop on that part one video. A lot has happened since then. Let me give y'all some updates. Let's check it out. Looking at this bad boy from the rear, y'all can see she got them, she got them twanky tools on her now. Man. She got the little 6.8 switch suspension drop kit, flip kit, helper bag kit with the little cross member bar. If you don't have this kit on your dually, then what are you even doing, baby? Get the switch kit, man. Scrap all that other foolishness. I took about four leaves out of each pack just to help this one ton rod a little better, right? But shit, she's still stiff, I tell you that right now. I rebuilt that Dana 70 with a set of 354 gears with a pause in there. That wasn't cheap, let me tell you. And I rebuilt it myself, just the parts were high. Thank you, Joe Bod. As you can see, Got the little cap installed on there just for visuals. Just finished bleeding the brakes. That was a process, I tell you that right now. And installing my custom drive shaft. Stay tuned for the next video. I, I have all that in detail of installing that new master cylinder. Just be on the lookout for that, right? New gas tank. With a little, I like to see like a Walbro 190 in there or something. I still got to add a little vent. I'm probably going to run something up the back of the cab, put a loop, and run it down, right? I ain't looking to go crazy. I got that amp secured to the back of the cab with some nut suits for sexiness. I got one of these coming in, chrome. I'm gonna keep the seal, I'm just gonna replace this locking strip. I didn't know you could do that till recently. Moving on to the interior. A lot happened in here, man, this thing was terrible. Well, I bought a 86 C30 parts truck from a local place around here, and I ain't gonna lie, I used damn near everything off that truck. Just wanna let y'all know that. That's why I got a brownish maroon dash. And I'm going to be using the maroon door panels too. I think that's going to offset that black. It's going to look good. I hit them door jams with a little rust oil and gloss black. Just so when it's all together, I could just spray this sucker with some single stage black Eastwood paint or something. I ain't looking to get crazy. I plan on using this sucker. Got that Snowden custom seat in there. With the two little cup holders, seat belts from LMC trucks. That's that little universal kit. It's a pretty nice little seat belt kit. Got a forever sharp steering wheel in there. Dakota digital gauges all wired in. I redid all the factory air condition, rebuilt it. Retro sound radio and a brand new trailer brake controller. Also, kept the granny four speed. Added a gear vendor's overdrive to that bad boy. Y'all know that's sexy. Ooh wee! New carpet. Some floor mats I got from Dollar General. Take that back. Goodwill, not Dollar General. Two ninety nine. Somebody's an idiot. And I made out like a bandit. Look at the pattern on them bars. Originally, my truck was a power window, power lock truck. And the doors I'm using off that parts truck crank, right? So I'm going to be adding these DS18 six and a halves in the door. So the only thing going to be running through this boot is a speaker wire for sexiness. That's what that's a butt. Just wanted y'all to know that. Pulled the windshield out. Got a new one coming in supposedly next week. 
$240 installed in my shop. You can't beat that, man. I'm going to take that. And of course, you can't, you can't not look at the front sexies. I've already fired this motor off. I'm going to include a clip in this video. was a mechanical linkage clutch i added the hydraulic clutch with that slam cylinder off of that 86 module put a whole new wiring harness in here it wasn't the oe harness with the plug so i'm gonna have to get creative trying to clean up these wires i think i'm gonna run a little gasket and use a leftover air conditioned piece and cover that. Y'all gonna see, it's gonna look nice. Just take my word for it. Brand new master. I'm gonna be dropping a video in a little while on installing that. That's a, that's a boost and a master out of a 90s OBS Chevy. Did away with that Hydra boost with that metal. I don't care for all that. That's the steering box out of that 86. Man, every, I'm telling you, everything had low miles. Everything was still tight, so I swapped everything over. And, of course, we got that switch. Six-inch drop in the front. Redid all the bricks. Boy, this motor fired right up. The only issue I had, and it's in another uh, YouTube video, is that spark plug hole. You can go check that out. When I pulled that sucker out of pull apart, I didn't know why number eight was out the hole. Well, I found out here very quickly. Like I said, I redid the air conditioning stuff. That's all new inside. Got the ICT billet, AC bracket with the small little SD7 compressor, and it clears everything just beautifully. Truck manifolds, I just put V-bands on there, right? Clean it up a little bit. Got this, uh, this was a flex fuel motor, so it got the flex fuel injectors, flex fuel coils. I'm even going to be retaining cruise control. See, I got that hooked up. Man, I had to get creative hooking up telecommunication size wires. I ain't never did that before. But yeah, just a little update where it's at. It's 420. I know everybody knows that date. But here we are, 420, 2023. Power tow is coming up very quickly. So I got to get this thing running, driving together. And I'm hoping to spray some black paint on this thing. I really don't want to go on power tow with white hood, white fenders, and white doors, right? But shit, might have to happen. Beggars can't be choosers. Hey, go ahead and hit that button. Leave a comment, like it, whatever you want to do, man. I'm trying to do something over here. I'm trying to make more content for you. Let me know. Shit, I don't care if you hate me or love me. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this Julie truck. I think she's coming along good. Let me know if y'all looking to hang on power to hit me up. We could do a little cruising, you hear me? She ain't gonna be the fastest thing in the bunch, but look, she gonna go. Little five tree, little taste. All right, peace. Like, comment, subscribe, you hear me? Whatever y'all wanna do. Love y'all.